Okay guys, this is Book Folding 101 step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so to complete your book, you only need four supplies. You need a hardcover book. I usually get them from Goodwill because they're about a dollar a piece. A used book with a hardcover is all you need. Sometimes you get it for free from a library if they're getting rid of a certain selection. So that's always another way to get a book. Uh, you need a pencil and you need a ruler that has centimeters. So a 12 inch ruler generally works just fine, but you need to make sure that it has the centimeters. Then the last thing that you're gonna need is a template of the design that you are trying to make. And I'll link at the bottom of this video where you can get a template. Okay, once you have your template, there's a couple areas that you really need to pay attention to. And the first one that we're gonna look at is up here where it tells you how many folds are required for the book. This particular design requires 67 folds. That means that you actually need a book of 67 pages to complete the design. This can be a little bit confusing the first time that you're doing a book design. So I'm gonna explain this concept a little bit further. Essentially, the template that I'm using requires 67 actual pages, but the pages in a book are generally numbered one and two front and back. That means that you need a book that is actually 134 pages minimum to complete this assignment. The book that I'm using right now is 369 labeled pages, which means that I have more than enough to complete my design. The next number that we're going to look at is the one that indicates how tall our book needs to be to fully fit the design. As you can tell, the longest measurement in this book is 21 centimeters, so that means that our book needs to be at least 21 centimeters or more for the design to fit. As you can see, this book is a little bit over 23 centimeters, so it is tall enough to fit our design. The next thing I'm going to do is pick my starting point. I am starting on page 101, so I am going to go ahead and label that page one. Everyone's starting point is gonna be a little bit different. Based on the number of pages in your book, my book has 369 pages, so that gives me a lot of wiggle room as to where I can start. You want to make sure that wherever you start, it is kind of centered so you'll have the same amount of pages left over in the back and in the front of the book when your design is done. You just gotta kinda count and find whatever is centered to your book. I'm also going to go ahead and label that under my template. So for example, my first fold would start on page 101 and I wanna make sure that I write it down. Going back to our template, we're gonna pay attention to mark one and mark two. These are the measurements in centimeters that you are going to complete in each page. So for example, page one is gonna be 8.4 centimeters and 9.2 centimeters. And I will demonstrate that in just a second. So following your template, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to make sure that it's well aligned where the zero is right at the top of the page and you're going to make your first two marks. You're going to go to 8.4 centimeters and 9.2 centimeters and you're just going to use your pencil to make little dashes as you can see right up there. When you complete your first measurement with the first page only, you're going to go ahead and fold. The way you're going to do this is you're going to grab each end of the page and you're going to fold it as straight as possible so that it is aligned with your marking that you just made. Essentially, I try to keep it as neat as possible and I do this by using the actual words on the book so that I make sure that my folds are straight. After you have completed your first measurement and fold, it becomes pretty repetitive. Essentially, you're just going to follow the pattern and make your markings all the way through the book until you are done. You're going to be tempted to fold, but please do not start folding until all of your measurements are complete because if you do not, then it becomes very difficult to do the measurements towards the end because the book gets thicker and thicker. So just hold off, finish all the measurements, and for the sake of time, I am not going to show you me doing 67 measurements here. I'm just going to skip through the video so that you can get an idea of what it should look like. Every time, note that I am crossing the measurement that I just completed out just to make sure that I stay organized and that I don't lose my spot or repeat a measurement by accident. When you have completed all of your measurements, you are ready to start folding. And just like we did in the first page before, you're going to fold according to the measurements that you made on each page. It looks just like this 
as shown above and you're going to want to follow the words in the book to kind of make sure that you are making straight lines and that you're doing really good creases. Just make sure that you are always folding towards the left side and that will eventually give you the shape. Once you're done with this part, you, are you have completed your book. Some people like to add a little ribbon, decorate the covers and stuff like that. Personally, I'm not gonna go ahead and add anything extra at this time. So this is the final product of how my book will look and let me know if you decide to try, if you have any questions, I'm here to help. I will be trying to make a Spanish version of this video in case someone finds it um, difficult to follow because of the English instruction. You guys have a great day and let me know what you think. Bye-bye.